Oh, golly. Hurry. If those poachers have found her, Rambolo is in trouble. Oh, golly. We're going to go save you, Rhino. We need to have an intense shootout. It's going to be an intense shootout with these poachers. That's what I'm assuming is going to happen. We all know I've done this mission before. We all we all know how this mission ends. But we're gonna act like we don't. Oh God, I hope we can save this rhino. Oh God, I will fight tooth and nail. Tooth and nail to save this rhino. These poachers don't know what is coming to them. Oh jeez. What is up, all you outdoor gamers? Bo here from BZ. We're uh, we're back in the beginner series, everyone. Our second day in Verhonga. My great uncle is driving me bananas. But we need to go find this uh this Gustav guy, um who's who's a YouTuber, I guess. And you never can trust YouTubers. They're just oh, dude, bad news. Bad news bears, YouTubers. Um, but there's also some other stuff that we can look into. There's Become the Lion, Harvest, Five Springbok, and Vuxa, or Buxa, Vuxa, whatever you want to say. Chase the Wildebeest, travel to a lookout point marked on your hunter mate, spot three different blue wildebeest in the Zonga, and then uh, travel to Vuxa again, and a photo sample of uh, a picture of an animal in the Zonga. Everyone loves picture missions, and by golly, we're going to do some picture missions. I have no idea. But uh, we do. I think the best way to go about this is probably just to uh, just to travel back to the main the main uh, site, the main hunting cabin. And uh, we'll just make our way, make our way down to uh, Zonga again. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make our way down here. We'll, uh, if we see anything, first off, if it's in the Zonga, then we'll, uh, you know, try to try to take a picture of it, I guess. <laughs> um, but if not, then uh, we might take a look at finding that lookout tower that that one mission was all about. And then we need to, um, yeah. Just need to get to Gustav Baden's camp. So I should say that I am at level 18 now. I do have one skill point available, and as you'll see here, I do have uh, side spotting now in the ambusher skill tree, and this will allow me to see animals in my scope and be able to, you know, kind of know what sort of level they are, uh, score, all that stuff. Big skill there. This one and this one. Make your way into the ambusher skill tree to at least get that. I don't know. You might, you might get this collar one up to you. Up to you how much you want to put into it. But I tell you what, we are going to continue along in this uh, stalker skill tree because I seem to uh, use a lot of this stalker skill tree, especially these reducing noise generated. And there's also, you know hiding yourself a little bit better when you go into bushes, which is also a big thing um, as we run into a bush. So let's just get this and then we'll uh, continue on in our hunting here. This honestly isn't a bad spot. If this was a tower, I feel like it would be a pretty pretty decent location for a tower. I'm not seeing any animals out here right now. It's supposed to be the feeding time for like springbok and, and stuff like that. So you would have thought that they would be out there. I don't really use the setup blinds that they have in the game. Sometimes they're in terrible locations and other times they're actually in decent locations. Um, but it is interesting to see like areas that the game developers thought would be helpful to the player. Um, and, and you kind of can use it in that regard, you know, see what they thought would be useful and, and, and realize that and take a look around for animals. And you know what? Sometimes they, they really work out and other times they don't. But, you know, it's always it's always worth gauging it. I wouldn't say go buy every single one you see, but, you know, look at the area, realize, you know, is this going to work out for me? Do I see myself coming back here um, and buy it in that case, in that scenario? We found a big herd of springbok, and that one actually has some decent horns right there at the back. That's just a four as well. My goodness, though, that is a that's a decent size one. So this early on in the game, until you until you get a rangefinder, you can just uh, I know I've said this a few times, and in, uh, in the in the different uh, episodes, but you can use, like I used right there, a, uh, a marker on the map. You know, we did spot the need zone, so we can kind of see, um, and that actually tells us exactly where it is. So, you can see it's it's a, it's around 220, 240 yards right now, um, which should be fine with this old dealio. Spot it there to make it a little easier on us. Dropped it in its tracks. 
get that last one? We did. Okay. This was a decent size four and uh, might be possible to uh, taxidermize it as well. I have to get my phone out so I can do some uh, do some math on this. Within 5% of the uh, the diamond score to mount it. Got my, I got my calculator ready. Calculator ready. All right. So this is the, uh, yeah, this is the second one we shot. I'm pretty sure. Let's go look just to make sure. Yeah, he's pretty... He's got some horns on him, doesn't he? Alright, let's go get this guy first. So this was a two female... Good lion! Good lion! My uncle is one crazy dude. But this is uh, our decent size one here that we just got. So we'll see if, uh, see if this is within 5%. It is a gold Please 99. Down. Two more to go. That's I don't think that's going to be within 5%. 0. 0.89, 89 percent of the way. Good size Springbok though. When I saw him, I thought, oh, that's a that's a decent one. And this should be another female there. Black brown though. Harvest one more Springbok to put the herd on red alert. Red alert. Red alert. I heard one of them making a noise, but I don't know where they ran off to. Found a point of interest here. I saw a path coming down to here, so I was just thinking, what in the world? Let's go check this out real quick. This is the oldest hut in Verhanga. Third tree of rock promise we will preserve this land for our descendants. That's why his most important concern is you, grandchild. Senile old man. Bro, how many times do I have to tell you I am your nephew? This is a nice open, uh, big old hill here is what I'm trying to say. And there is a, uh, oh, look at the kudu. <sighs> Small antelope there. Okay. Got him. And I remember when the, uh, the 7.62, I remember when that was king. And then they, uh, and then they put out that the 30 odd six was good for kudu. And then it was kind of like, okay, well, the solo king is not king anymore. <laughs> and the solo king can't shoot level two animals. Class two animals. Can't shoot class two animals, so it's like, uh, I guess I'll be carrying the 243. Basically made the solo king obsolete. I think a lot of people don't understand that uh, the 308 would be a similar situation. Like, if, the, if they added a 308 into the game, I mean, it would just, it would basically be the same classes as the solo king. Tiny little kudu there. Another one. Guess we could take him down just for the heck of it. Found more wildebeest. Wonder if there's a herd in here. I have seen herds of wildebeest over here. Very small kudu. Right, another outpost. This is a great outpost because, you know, you're way up high on a hill. So you will see animals down here in this valley sometimes. Um, and they will, they like to stand like right here in these bushes, which is kind of silly. Um, no, we did find a herd. Might be a good size wildebeest in there, but at the same time, we need to get that darn lookout tower. Um, get some warthog. Got some warthog, and you'll see a lot of uh, the uh, jackals, the side stripe jackals, will be around here as well. Um, and there'll be lions as well. So if you're wondering a good spot to look for lions, this little uh, northern coast or whatever you want to call it of that little lake right there is a great place to look for lions. All right, top notch. We're uh, coming in on this uh, chase the wildebeest mission here, so that'll be. Good. The Zonga is a mix of swampland and dry riverbeds. Drought has made the swamps muckier, and with the river running dry, a large herd of wildebeest have crossed into Vahonga unobstructed. Wildebeest herds are usually transient, but right now we have too many wildebeest for the region to sustainably feed. Breeding season is incoming. They're not migrating quickly enough, even though they are running out of food. All right, so now that we got a lookout tower, we do need to spot these wildebeest, and I don't know where they ran off to. Oh, I do too. I'm not. I'm, I'm lying. The wildebeest are born runners. Calves fall out of their mothers, and in a few minutes, whew, they're off running with the head. Spot a few more before they bolt. Spot one more. Time to put your studies into practice. 
wildebeest spook easily, so you'll only need to harvest three of them to get the herd moving a bit. 150 meters or more. Of course, they uh, were listening to our great uncle that entire time, and they just kept getting closer. Oh, some warthogs over here. Some piggies. Piggy girls. Ooh, there's a four. Picture mission. Four, four. There's the four. Must be shooting the ground. Alright, got the four. And we got the photo. My god, we're just killing it right now. Literally and figuratively. Alright, here's our four piggy. Look at that shiny hair there. 50 out of 58, I'm not thinking that's 5%. I tell you what, I am gonna go up on this hill up here and uh, look down because you can see some Gemsbok down on this hill, uh, this little slope down here. And the wind will go right to them, but I think it might it might work out for us. Who knows? We might see something. Oh, look at all that. The Gemsbacher over here right now. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that big mama! Guys, come on. Is this gonna be another diamond? Oh, she's moving. Just stay broadside of us, honey. That should do some damage there. There she goes, 50 to 75. 50 to 75, 25 to 50. She's gonna go down soon. Alrighty, here we go. I don't know, same thing where I like walk up and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if this is a big one or not. <laughs> oh golly. Okay, well let's see. Hopefully it's a big one in either case. It's a gold! 329, my god. 329 divided by 337, let's see, is 97%. So she does fall within the 5%, so we are going to put her in the lodge. Look at those horns though, my god, when I saw those, I thought, ooh, oh, no, another diamond, another diamond, but uh, yeah, good enough for the lodge anyway. Well, shoot, you need to shoot blue wildebeest is the thing. Are you gonna stand nice and broadside or are we gonna have to deal with some random stuff? Oh yeah, that's a good, oh, that's great. That's just fantastic. You can simply shoot them. I mean, if you just want to shoot them in the pelvis or something like that, that's totally fine. Um, I, when they're running, I always try to aim for the top, you know, the top uh, rib cage or whatever. Um, and so I'm trying to catch them at an angle. So you will see me miss um, sometimes just because I'm trying to lead them if as if they're going to run at an angle. And sometimes they just don't. Sometimes they just run straight. And so then I don't catch that top shoulder. God, I could hear him, but I just don't know where he was. All right, we got her. The safe shot is the professional shot. One down, two to go. Up notch. Scrub hair and a willoughby, it's just like that. So I did notice that I do have uh, some perk points available, and uh, I'll tell you, see how you can look at this, and, um, it says, uh, you know, decreases edge blur when using shotguns with iron sights. That's that's great. That's going to help you with shotguns. But if you go to some of the other perks like this one, weapon sights align faster after rotating with any weapon. Those are the perks you need to be looking for. There are some perks that only help a certain type of firearm, and then there are other ones that help out 
everything. Um, and so we're going to go ahead. This is the uh, shotgun skill tree or perk tree. Um, we're going to get the body control one here. And then we're also going to put a perk into this less recoil when firing any weapon and able to fire a follow-up shot sooner. Um, so this is going to help with your uh, reload time as far as putting another uh, cartridge into the chamber as well as giving you a good follow-up because there's going to be less recoil with your shots. Alrighty. This is what I was assuming they would be as far as the Gemsbok. Remember when I was saying I need to get up on this hill so we can see if there's any Gemsbok? This one's the 358 though. As far as being a male, that's pretty decent. <laughs> Might not have got the lungs there. Tried to aim just a little bit higher than I thought. I would have figured he would have been out at like two, 290 or something like that. I thought there might be a tad bit of drop, but I might have miscalculated a little bit. <laughs> Don't stop looking until you find that Mampara Baden. Yeah, dumb YouTuber. Where are you, Baden? You found Baden's camp? Where's Baden? You're a scout? Figure out where he's gone. Okay. Oh, he left, left a note. note. Let's read it. Dear Warden Shabanangu. Last night I had the pleasure of drinking a beer with some of your friendly local Holy hunters. Fool. I hope he falls in that dung. We've got a whole reserve to mind. We can't spend all day chasing a hootuba or whatever that means. But at least now we know there are poachers active somewhere in the Zonga. We have to figure out where exactly. Until then, you should be care. Oh no. Your brother says one of our electronic trackers has gone dormant. The tracker on Rambolo. She's our last Melembe. Our last Rhino. You must go to Rambolo's last location and find out what the problem is. Oh, golly. Hurry. If those poachers have found her, Rambolo is in trouble. Oh, golly. 400 yards away. We're gonna go save you, Rhino, soon as we pick up our Gemsbok. All right, here's our decent size uh, level four here. 312, 312, just for the heck of it. I wanna see how close it is. 312 divided by 92%, just just under 93. Was a good shot though. Whew, better reload. I'm gonna save this Rhino. I gotta be able to shoot at all these poachers and stuff. Getting closer. Please let her be alive. Please, ancestors. We found we found her. Oh jeez. This is a tragedy. I I am gutted. Rambolo wasn't just an animal. She was like family to everyone on this reserve. Now she's gone. I nursed her back to health as best I could. But she was in no condition to make a trip hundreds of kilometers away. So she stayed. Now this. This is what's become of her. I, I will send a team to clean her up before the jackals come. She's been with us so long, her hide should be preserved. Okay. I can grieve later. We have work to do. What would you bet those friendly lookers who stole Baden's gear were the criminals who did this? We must find out where they went. Not so you can confront them. You observe and report to me. I report to the police. The police put a team together and round them up. Got it? Now, I got it, Uncle. Poachers are sloppy butchers. Look for things they'll leave behind, like tire tracks. Homo sapiens? Homo sapiens look a lot like pronghorn. Oh, God. We're gonna be fighting a bunch of horned sapiens. That really sucks. Um, yeah. Good. Poaching. Follow I'm those tire tracks. Observe and report. It, it is a sucky thing. I do remember in Zambia... Uh, like they constantly had um, helicopters going up above looking for any any sort of thing. And it's amazing, you know, what they have, uh, you know, as far as 
the, the people that they have working those national parks to protect those animals um, from anyone outside. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice. And actually, you know, Zambia, which, you know, this is the country I visited, they, they are so against poaching that they made any sale of any wild animal uh, illegal. So you can't, you, I mean, you can go to South Africa and buy springbok pelts in the airport, but in Zambia, it's completely illegal. Um, anything, it bones, horns, pelts, anything illegal. Um, just to try and cut down on the poaching. Wow, look at this. Beyond the camp. God. Maybe this is their camp. I would say so. Don't stay here too long. They're a group, so you'll probably hear them coming, but you'll never know when they'll be back. Anything suspicious? And there's a bunch of, a bunch of like, scratch marks on it. Even the least experienced poachers would not leave their hall in an unguarded pickup truck. Someone or something sabotaged them, and I doubt that Gustav Baden is the one who slashed their tires. You should get out of here before they return. That is but interesting, because I mean, yeah, if they, they put the horns back here, then something the broke in and took it. Do a quick sweep to remove them before you leave. Alright, so there are traps around here somewhere. Hey, here we go. Weird place to put a trap. One less animal for the poachers. But I'd never leave just one trap. Keep scouting. Gemsbach. Just a second, Gemsbach. We can't shoot you yet. We're trying to get traps so that we save you. Hey, you found another one. Let's see. Let's. I think the coordinates would help. So we're at 7,306 by negative 4,908 for this one. Sorry, we missed the first one. Good work. What is that? Gunshots. They were gunshots. Those shots were not meant for you, but they weren't far off either. There's a hut nearby. You should try to take shelter there. But be careful. I have no desire to bury my grandchild today. You're getting close to the hut. Stay low. Stay quiet. Make sure you're alone. Just get decked in the head because we're running. Just hear this gunshot and your character just flies backwards like you got hit by a lion. Area is clear. The area is clear. Oh my God! There was Gamsbach up here. The Gamsbach are behind all this. What happened here? Oh jeez. With that many shells, that much damage, these oh, sure are shells. must have been firing in every direction from inside here. Maybe they're being hunted by the Eloko. That. That's what's happening. Eloko. We'll investigate. Get moving. We've got the reports of smoke coming from the fever tree forest to your west. Yeah, I saw None that. None of my rangers are out there burning fires right now. Go check it out. We're going to check out this uh, smoke, and then we'll probably head up to get that lookout tower up there. Um, way up there. We're going to run way down the hill. That way we can run all the way back up, because that's the best way to do things. There is some uh, some gunshots going on and uh, some yelling and screaming. More shots fired, and they're screaming. Your brother thinks they might be getting trampled by buffalo. But we'd hear the rumble of hooves if that were the case. My gut tells me those poachers are being punished by the Eloko. Your heart is pure, grandchild, but tread lightly, or the Eloko might come for you too. Oh, God. Oh, God. The Eloko. Hmm. Put that fire out before it causes a problem. Thank you. What else do you see? Signs of poachers? Yeah, we found we found a gun. There's a gun here and some rabbit poop. <gasps> poachers are working together with the rabbits. Yes. Their weapons were completely dismantled. Were they? Hmm. Any other clues out there? Yeah, there's, uh, shoes. I'd hate to be barefoot out there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Keep looking for signs of life. Bloody okay. clothes. Bloody clothes. Savage, eh? Torn clothes. Torn bodies. I think we've seen enough to call this an eloco problem. But your brother still thinks a mad buffalo or a whole head may have been charging the poachers. We can look into that later. There's a shelter nearby. Go take a break there. 
keep your eyes and ears open for trouble. But before we go do that, since that is um, quite a ways away, we're going to grab this uh, lookout tower and then probably go up here to this outpost, which is a really good outpost. And I'll show you why once we get up there and then we'll head back and get that um, outpost. Alrighty, here we go. All right, so yeah, if, as you can see the map here, we're gonna run up and get this outpost, and then I'll show you why this is such a great outpost. It might not be as uh, fruitful as I'm hoping at the moment. But hopefully, it's got some decent stuff there. Um, but this is one of my favorite places to hunt, and it's amazing how when I hop into multiplayer games, there's usually not a lot of people hunting this area. So um, yeah, this will give you give you something to check out. That's a cover shot right there, pal. Noise. Let's see you track and spot specific species. Oh boy. So now we need to uh, now we need to take photos of specific species. It sounds like almost. Look at all the springbok over there. So already before we haven't even gotten to the outpost yet, but you can already see that there's some springbok over in this meadow over here. And uh, this is kind of one of those things where once you get to the outpost, I usually end up running up this hill. You can already see. Golly, that's another good sized Gemsbok. Don't see anything too impressive, but they're about to run away from this lion. That lion says, oh, bite to eat. A bite to eat. Yes, please. All right, I'm going to start walking just in case we do get up here and still see that Gemsbok. We can take a shot at him. That is him, buddy boy. Good shot in the lungs, I would hope. That is a big horn. Big horn Gemsbok right there. Let's get this outpost before we get killed by this lion coming directly at us right now. Top notch. And I tell you what, everyone, we might be making an upgrade. Can indeed. Here we go. This is when people ask me what is your what is the best weapon in the game. Um, you know it's really hard to say because there's so many different animal classes. But honestly, the secret best weapon of the game, and it shouldn't be a secret but it kind of is. Um, the 7mm Region Magnum is a fantastic rifle simply because it's one of the earliest rifles you can buy that will allow you to hunt Class 9 animals. Curious to see how big this guy is because his, his horns look like, you know, when you find a level 5 Gemsbok. This is kind of the horns you see. Let's check this guy out because he had some pretty stunning horns. Of course, he lands right into a bush where we can't see anything, <laughs> but still had decent horns there. Let's take a look. 317. Let's see. 317 divided by 337 is 94. Gosh, got so close. He's in the 94 percentile Gems block there. All he needed was one more percent. <laughs> That's a good size male, honestly. Really impressive. Okay, so you can see where we went from the um, from the outpost. We went up to the top of this hill. You'll see some animals out here in these hills. You'll see some animals um, kind of going in between these trees over here. And there's more Gemsbok. You will find Springbok. Um, further out in these hills here. In fact, uh, when I get the tripod, this will be one of the spots I set up a tripod. There we go. I rushed that first shot there, but at least we got it with the second one. Now this is interesting, because he's actually wanting me to go down to this point. So that's interesting. We're going to grab this outpost and then we're going to go down to the, uh, whatever, whatever he's wanting me to go to. Is there another outpost down there? Or is it just a building? It might just be a building. I think I recall a building just being down there up on top of the hills, but we'll run through the fever trees. I actually ran past this outpost, you know, going to the mission marker. I thought the mission marker was the outpost, but no, it's not. So <laughs> that was a, that was a surprise. I was going to say th there is usually a herd of wildebeest down here somewhere they'll run up the hill and they'll come down here to this like drinking area um i'm not sure where they'd be right now oh yeah look at them all 
Got a really good wind right now. So we can kind of just take our time. 34 to 40 on that one. Right now that four is looking to be kind of the best one. We are kind of just standing out in the middle here. There he goes, there he stood up. Nice, please spot him. That's... Top notch. Or is it 35? I was about hunting the wildebeest from a safe distance. A senior warden can't take such unnecessary risks. Try again. Well, I totally forgot about the mission. I gotta see this. 35 divided by 37.6. What is that? 93! Goodness gracious, really close. Decent sized wildebeest there. Okay. I totally forgot about the mission. Some of you probably remember. Remembering better than me. Just about there. Time for you to refresh. Amukeleanes. Amukeleanes. Should be safe to go inside. Okay, top notch. Oh golly. Trapped inside. What are those pictures of? A ghost jackal. No, not again. Your brother thinks Gustav found his fungi and it inspired these drawings. But I think we are dealing with something well beyond fungi. A restless spirit who does not want Gustav Baden to journey further along. My whole body is tingling right now. Grandchild, oh are you awake yet? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm awake. <laughs> there you are. I hope you had a good dream. Now, it's time to get back to work. The other wardens could not find Gustav Baden. But since he decorated that shelter, maybe he is close to you. Can you check on him? Sure. Whoa. Push this open. Another beautiful day in Verhanga. Oh, there's a there's a note here as well. Eish. Baden left a note while you were sleeping. So he is nearby. And at least he's still alive. Read the note. Definitely a ghost, trust me. Just have to capture him on video. Last I saw him, he was making his way north towards the potholes. That's where I'll be going. Vampara. Your brother may not believe in the Eloko or Ghost Jackal, but I hope Baden. you have an open mind. I spelled for hunger. I tell you this, that Ghost Jackal is real, and she means to harm Gustav Baden. <sighs> and even if you are like your brother and you don't believe me, Consider that the Baden is tracking a jackal with a strange coat, which may mean it's malnourished or diseased. Whatever you believe, as wardens, we have a responsibility to find okay, Baden rabies. before he has a close encounter of the worst kind. Okay, okay, well, we need to go check up on Baden here, and his potholes. Into the Western Reserve. You'll remember it for the big plateau. The one with a view to die for. That's where you find the potholes that Baden mentioned in his note. There are plenty of places along the river to check for signs of Baden. The first spot is marked on your map. Top notch. Sounds great. We're going to go check uh, on Baden yet again. That's pretty much how we ended the, f the, the first episode. <laughs> we're going to go check up on this guy, Gustav Baden. And now we're going to do the exact same thing over at the potholes. But I tell you what, everyone, um, I'm not sure what um how this video is going to end up when it's uh, edited and whatnot but we're sitting at about an hour and 47 minutes right now which uh to me sounds like a good length for an episode unless we see a big warthog here top notch well it seems like these warthogs are going to make their way through here nothing that big um but i tell you what there's a lot going on in verhanga and we've only checked out half the map I'm hoping that we can uh, make our way up to the northern half of the map. I know that we have a lot of uh, missions that we need to accomplish here, but we are kind of still chasing after Gustav Baden. Hopefully we can find him and then uh, make our way north again to uh, hunt some of these fantastic locations because these two watering holes up here in the north are fantastic hunting, and I'm really excited to, uh, to do that in this uh, freaking goodness gracious. Look at that warthog. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Um, so all that stuff I just said is totally true. I am really looking forward to doing all of that. 
but now we have a, a ginormous warthog over here and uh, I kind of want to shoot him you know when they just like sprint all of a sudden and get into this elephant grass that would suck don't do it don't do it don't do it bro dropped him dropped him and then we still have the other warthogs over here who are all upset now oh yeah think you're big huh think you're big huh take that right in the butthole boo all right well here's our good size warthog we shot at the end here definitely has the uh the tusks of a good size warthog but uh will he be within the top five percent 56 on his way to 58 i'm definitely thinking that's within five percent let's see is 96 percent this dude is going into the lodge there we go not a diamond but still a lodge possible animal there love it love it love it love it that's the way to end an episode i'm so so excited my god um thank you all for watching really appreciate it hope you enjoyed um the episode another beginner series working our way through the missions here as well as doing some hunting on the side fantastic time i think anyway if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way please like and subscribe as i really appreciate it and i hope you get out there and find some amazing trophies yourself and if anything hopefully you just found the video a little entertaining which i also enjoy comment down below anything you're thinking and join us on the bz Up discord where we just kind of have more informal chats um really enjoy it post your pets post your food uh all the other little text channels that we have and we talk about all sorts of stuff um but it's a really fun time and i enjoy talking with all of you and uh that's gonna do it thanks for watching and as always everyone keep gaming never stop